an exclusive shoplifter story of Mira Monroe, Hayes Gone Wrong. An exclusive shoplifter Mira Monroe scene. Mira Monroe is a young and very beautiful college girl who loves to explore new things and take up challenges. She is always looking for something new and exciting to do. One of the challenges she loves to take part in is playing different challenge games at her college. These games involve the girls doing something amazing, such as playing a prank on a professor, reciting a poem from memory, or even solving a difficult math problem. Mira always takes these challenges seriously and puts her all into them. She loves the thrill that comes with succeeding in these difficult tasks and it makes her feel alive. The other girls in her college also enjoy playing these challenges with Mira because she is always up for a challenge and makes it fun for everyone. She always makes sure to give a helping hand to her peers if they are struggling with any of the tasks. Myra's enthusiasm for these challenges and her willingness to help out her peers make her a valuable and much-loved member of her college. Mira Monroe was not expecting this when she decided to join the college hazing club. Her friends had promised her that she would have fun and make memories, but she had no idea that she would be required to dress up as a sexy cop and record herself stealing something from a store. The idea of it made her nervous, but she was determined to make it through and prove that she could handle anything. Mira found an old, used police costume that fit her perfectly and she felt more than ready to take on her challenge. She went to the store, her heart pounding in her chest as she put the costume on and prepared for the heist. She slowly walked around the store, her eyes darting everywhere and her mind racing as she tried to come up with a plan of action. She eventually decided to go for a pair of sunglasses and recorded herself grabbing them and stuffing them into her pocket before quickly walking out of the store. Mira felt a sense of accomplishment and relief as she stepped out of the store and she knew that she had completed the hazing stunt successfully. She was proud of herself for having the courage to go through with it and for being strong enough to handle the challenge. Myra's friends were amazed by her bravery and praised her for her accomplishment. She had successfully completed the hazing stunt and proved that she could handle anything. Next day she has to do this stunt again, Mira Monroe had no idea what she was getting herself into when she agreed to the hazing stunt. She was told to dress up as a sexy cop and record herself stealing something from a store, and she thought it was a harmless prank. Little did she know that an actual police officer, Officer Rusty, was patrolling the area and spotted her. He immediately apprehended her and brought her in for questioning. He was determined to get to the bottom of why she was stealing, and Mira was terrified of what would happen next. The other girls in her sorority had made it seem like it was a fun prank, but she was quickly realizing that it was a serious crime with serious consequences. She tried to explain the circumstances to Officer Rusty, but he didn't seem to buy it. Mira was worried about being arrested and what it would mean for her future. In the end, Officer Rusty decided to let her off the hook, but he warned her that if it ever happened again, he wouldn't be so lenient. Mira was relieved, but she had learned an important lesson about the consequences of her actions. From then on, she made sure to think twice before doing anything that could get her in trouble with the law. But suddenly Officer Rusty instantly ran up to her and said that she was not allowed to leave the store. Mira was confused, not understanding why she wasn't allowed to go home. Officer Rusty told her that she needed to stay in the store until he said otherwise. Mira was frustrated, Officer Rusty wanted to spend night with Mira Monroe. Officer Rusty had been on the force for a few years and had developed a reputation for being a hard-nosed cop. He had seen his fair share of criminals, but when Mira Monroe came to his attention, things changed. She had been caught stealing and Officer Rusty had a proposition for her. He offered her a choice, she could either go to jail or spend the night with him. Mira was initially taken aback by the offer. Mira Monroe was shocked to hear that offer and she denied to accept that offer and she told him that she would rather go to jail than accept his wrong offer. Officer Rusty got angry and he start to yell at her and start to threaten her that he will make her life worst if she don't accept his offer. Mira Monroe was very scared and she had no choice but to accept his offer. 
Officer Rusty had a plan. He took her to a nearby hotel and explained that if she wanted to avoid jail time, she had to do exactly what he said. He then proceeded to take her on a wild ride of pleasure and passion. They explored each other's bodies and experienced a night of pleasure that neither of them had ever imagined. By morning, Officer Rusty had taught Mira a valuable lesson and ensured that she would never steal again. She was very sad and heartbroken that she had to do something that she doesn't want to. Officer Rusty was very happy that he got his way and he let Mira Monroe go. Mira Monroe was relieved that she was free now but she was still very sad and broken that she had to do something like this for her freedom.